This is a chunk of calcium carbide. It reacts with normal water to make acetylene gas, which is super flammable. So flammable that oxygen and acetylene torches are commonly used for welding, but it still needs a spark to ignite an oxygen. But what about in other gases? The element chlorine has some similar properties to oxygen, but it's also much more reactive. I've shown how to make table salt with it in a previous video. So I'll prepare a flask full of chlorine to see what acetylene does in it. Elemental chlorine is a pale yellow and deadly gas that's about three times heavier than air. This should go without saying, but absolutely do not try any of this at home. Now that it's displaced the water in this flask, I'll prepare some acetylene by carefully placing some calcium carbide underneath this beaker full of water. The bubbles really wanted to carry it off to the side, so I had to keep putting it back under the beaker. Again. And again. You can see the water starting to get cloudy, as this reaction also produces the white solid calcium hydroxide, which isn't very soluble. But now, I have a good amount of the reasonably pure acetylene, so I'll draw it into a syringe. With everything ready, now for the moment of truth where I bubble it into the flask of chlorine. Acetylene and chlorine form what is called a hypergolic mixture, which means it instantly ignites upon contact. Mixtures like these are fairly common for rocket propellants, as ignition is guaranteed. Here, the acetylene and the chlorine react to make hydrochloric acid and carbon soot, which is the black stuff you can see floating around. The mini explosions are pretty impressive, and I really like how they look in slow motion. It has a certain zen-like quality to it. Enjoy! Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to my patrons, especially the premium and VIP patrons listed here. You all make videos like this possible. If you'd like to help me make more videos, please consider checking out the Patreon listed in the video description, and liking and subscribing. See you next time.